We made our own airless tyres and we think they can withstand anything. Drifting, potholes, a bed of nails and even driving at over 100 miles per hour. Regular tyres have been filled with air for over 100 years and they do work pretty well, but they could leave you stranded at the side of a road with a puncture. So with a very small budget and only a little bit of time, we decided to fix tyres forever. But as with any great invention, we had a few problems along the way. Oh, that was coming off! It's coming off! It's coming off! But before we get to putting our airless tires on the car, let me show you how we made them. So the base is a 14 inch steel rim from a Ford Mondeo. And then on the outside of that, we've got 15 lengths of this fresh water pipe. And now we're not NASA and this is very simple, but it worked really well. And now what we thought was pretty clever was adding these smaller pipes to the outside and we're calling them anti-vibration pipes to make sure things run a bit smoother. And now for the grippy bit, this is just the tread from a normal tire wrapped around the outside and joined in the middle. And then to keep it together, we've used over 300 nuts and bolts. And I know you're thinking, how much does it cost to take on the tire industry and change it all together? Well, these only cost 300 pound a wheel. Michelin, if you need any help with your development, give us a call and you've been working on it for 10 years. We were obviously very confident about our creation, but this was the first time they had ever been on a car. So we actually weren't sure if they would hold up. However, we did do some homework. We know that the car with drivers weighs around 800 kilograms. So when stationary, that's roughly 200 kilograms per wheel. So what do we think, boys? They're gonna work. At low speed, yes. <laughs> At high speed. <laughs> we get a bit of pipe everywhere. We ready? Oh. oh. <laughs> please don't break, please don't break. No. Oh, lovely. I think it's not deforming, is it? At all. No, but if you look at it, like got a, a flat piece here, which is perfect. I think we might have nailed it. Joe here is concerned about the wheel nuts, <laughs> but he thinks all of this is fine. <laughs> we don't want the wheel coming off, but bits of the wheel, that's yeah. fine. Should you yeah. jump in and see how it Get goes it. on the track? Just a moment of truth, isn't it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so before we pushed them to 100 miles an hour and drifted them on the racetrack, we needed to see if they would hold up at normal speeds. I'm somewhat apprehensive. Somewhat apprehensive. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> Are you? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. Oh, it is a bit wobbly. It's really it's good. Like a normal car. I think it's better. This is better. Is it wobbly? Just, a, just, little just a little bit. Just a little bit. You can just feel it a little bit, not very much at all. It's fine. Does it look bumpy from ex from yeah. external? It does. It's weird that because you can't really feel no, it. Can no, you no, it's it's like perfect. Even after one lap of the track, there was one clear downside to our tyres. They were pretty noisy. So we set up a super scientific test and used the original tyres on the catering to set a benchmark. It does sound like a horse and cart, doesn't it? <laughs> clip flop, clip flop. What is it? 98. 98. 102. <laughs> 99. 99. Oh, I can see it jumping. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> With the noise test being a bit of a fail, okay, a massive fail, we were starting to have some serious concerns about quality control. Oh no, we've got bits coming out of it. <laughs> this isn't good. Out look, of look, that one's missing a bolt. <laughs> well, we didn't need that bit anyway, throw it away. It's, it's unnecessary. But I think the first thing to solve would be to make them a bit more round than they are, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is something you need in a wheel. <laughs> now, despite our tyres being uncomfortable, noisy and prone to losing a few nuts and bolts, we knew we had a better shot at this next test. And it was the official Driven Media bed of nails test. We've all been there. You're driving along, minding your own business and out of nowhere in the middle of the road, there's a bed of nails. Rubbish, normal tyres would stand no chance. But this would finally show why our new airless tyres are the future. Oh no, someone has left a bed of nails in the road. Oh, oh, he's going over them. Oh my God. <laughs> you could do that at speed. Do you want me to do it again or at speed? Yeah. Like 15, 20. <laughs> Clean as you like. The bed of nails was a definite pass. Before pushing them to over 100 miles an hour, we thought it might be sensible to try them out on the road. Here's the real test then, Scott. Speed bump. We'll be fine. Normal speed. All good. Fine. Just solving problems wherever we go. See what it's like on the grass? Just drive across the grass. <laughs> Come on, keep on going, don't stop. Fine on the grass. <laughs> go on. Oh! Hi. 
things. <laughs> For those viewers who don't actually live in the UK, this is a pothole. We actually have more area of potholes than we do proper road surface. This is the main reason why it's beneficial to have those airless tires, is because we all spend days of time each year at the side of a road because we've hit one of these and we've got a massive puncture. Days, de days a year we spend. Could we crack a pipe? Yeah, that could be the problem, right? Ah, that was fine. Oh! Oh! I feel a bit more confident now, you? Yeah. A fast vibration you can't feel, can you really? I don't think so. <laughs> Logic. I think if I hit that with a normal tyre, it would have either bulged it or could yeah. have given it a puncture, that kind of thing. It was a fair that, whack. That is a big old, uh, big old pothole. After proving our tyres were perfect on the road, we went back to the track. And this is where Scott got a bit confident and was ready to send it. I wasn't so sure. 30 miles an hour! <laughs> it's not even that fast! I can see the front tyre jumping up and down! Oh. Oh. Look at the steering. <laughs> My eyes are vibrating, Callum! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was coming up! Oh, it's coming up! Oh. It's coming up! <laughs> I just saw the tread on the tyre shift all the way across. I think like, when you load them up, I think they must be twisting or something, because I can feel it in the steering wheel. Really? After some chilled out laps on the track, we decided to push things a little bit further and see if these tyres would drift. Because, you know, the main thing that you are looking for from your tyre is the ability to drift and donut, right? Only slightly scared of what's going to happen now. <laughs> Drain pipes flying, chunks of rubber. By no means are they perfect. Yes, they could do with being a bit quieter and a lot rounder, but they really do hold up to nails, potholes, and even Scott's heavy right foot. And for some homemade wheels created from drain pipe, a cut up tire, and a million bolts, that's not bad. We really could be onto something here. Thanks for watching.